Mother. 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 Shelly, I'm so glad you're here. I saw you having naked sex. <laughs> what are you talking about? Earlier, I came here to surprise you. I looked in the window and I saw you with a man. Oh, Shelly, I'm so sorry. Come in. Um, maybe we should sit down and talk about this. Can you recommend a surface you haven't had coitus on? <laughs> That's not funny. Maybe we should sit at the table. <laughs> Well, I'm sure that uh, you have a lot of questions. Who was he? His name is Ron. I met him at my prayer group. How long have you been involved with him? A few months. And of those few months, how long have you been a demented sex pervert? <laughs> that is no way to speak to your mother. Perhaps not. But it is a way to speak to a woman who quoted the Bible to me my whole life and then desecrates one of Ethan Allen's finest sofas. I will give you one opportunity, young man, to apologize. Or what? Or I will send you to your room. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I am a grown man. I am a professional scientist. And I currently occupy the moral high ground. Go to your room. But I occupy the moral high ground. <laughs> Go to your room. But I'm a professional scientist. Go to your room. I'm a grown man. <laughs> Hello? Hello. Are you ready to discuss this calmly like adults? I am. Shelly, I'm sorry that you saw what you saw. I know that this is hard for you. I think what most upsets me about it, Mother, is the hypocrisy. Doesn't this contradict all the religious rules you've been espousing your whole life? You're right, it does. And it's something that I'm struggling with these days. Then why are you doing it? Because I'm not perfect, Shelly. And that man's booty is. <laughs> Well, this is confusing for me. But I don't want to stand in the way of your happiness. So I'll condemn you internally while maintaining an outward appearance of acceptance. That is very Christian of you. But, Mother, if you're going to conduct your life in this fashion, then I should let you know that the world has changed since you were a young woman. You know, it's not all sock hops, soda jerks, and segregation anymore. How old do you think I am? My point is that you're going to need to be careful. You used to be protected by your pre-enlightenment mythology, but now you're going to need a stronger friend named Latex. Are you having the sex talk with me? Well, someone has to. Oh, dear Lord. You, what, no, don't look to him. He's mad at you right now. 